Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today we're going to talk about offline design space. So if you don't know it, Cricut Design Space on 129-2020 is going completely offline. So you'll need to download the application to your computer instead of accessing it through a web browser. So what does that mean for you? A few different things. You can use it just like you always have. You'll just need to download that application to your computer and then pull it up. But you can also download things to your computer and use it completely offline when you don't have an internet connection. So we're going to dive right in and see what the differences are between Design Space Now and the way Design Space will be this Wednesday. So I have both offline and online Design Space open right now. If you're not aware, the online version of Design Space goes away on 129. So you'll need to download the offline version by then. So I'm going to do a, sort of a compare and contrast, and then we'll put the offline version to test. So the first thing we're going to do is look at online design space. So this is the design space you're familiar with. And you can see my projects, and then of course we can click new project and open up a canvas. So now let's take a look around offline design space. This is the design space that will live on your computer. You can see it's really, really similar. So we can actually go back to the home page and you can see that it's basically the same home page because I'm connected to the internet. It will look different if you're not connected to the, to the internet and we'll go over that in a few minutes. And as always, I can click new project. I can head to my canvas and you can see the same functions in online design space are available with this offline version or the version that lives on your computer. So now let's put it to the test by taking it offline and taking a tour of all the functions. So while you're in offline design space and you're working but you're connected to the internet, there's a few things you can do so some of your content is available after you close your internet connection. The first thing is you can download fonts. So you can see that a child's year I've actually downloaded so it has a computer icon next to it and I can remove it if I would like to. So any fonts that I want to use offline I would need to download. Now these go for Cricut fonts only. Your system fonts will are of course on your computer and will be available offline. So for any Cricut fonts you want to use, maybe you've purchased a few of these and want to use them even when your computer's offline, you would need to click download while you're connected to the internet. This is the same for images. So any of the images in Cricut Design Space that you want to use once you remove your internet connection, you will need to download to your computer. So a few of these I've already downloaded, like this Moose, and you can see it's saved for offline use, and this Baseball as well is saved for offline. So for any of these, let's say I want to save this one, I just need to pick the ones I want to save, so I'm going to save these two, and just click Download in the corner. Once they download, they will be on my computer, and anytime I'm not connected to the internet, these will still show and be available for use offline for me to use in my projects. This is not the same for projects, however. So projects that are out in Cricut Design Space, I don't see a way to actually download those right now currently. So if you want to do a project, you would have to be connected to the internet. All right, so let's take my computer offline, remove all internet connection, and let's see what we can do in Cricut Design Space. All right, so we're completely offline. Again, it warns you that your connection was lost, but that you can use certain features and content. So the first thing you'll notice is that templates are not available in offline, and upload is not available either. So you can't add templates or upload any projects. When I click Images, the images that we just went over that I downloaded to my computer are available and I can insert those into the canvas and I can alter those from there or click make it and actually cut those on my machine. The same thing goes for text. So if I want to use the text that's in on my system or already on my computer, I can use that. And if I want to use any text Cricut fonts, then I would only have the ones that I've actually downloaded to my computer that have the computer icon. So I would only be able to pick from those that have actually been downloaded.
And so with either of these, I can now click make it and I could cut those on my machine. Finally is shapes. So any of the shapes that are in Cricut Design Space are actually available offline as well. So I could add these shapes. I could have multiple shapes. I could weld them together. I could design with the shapes easily right in Cricut Design Space. So I could weld these together if I wanted to make one shape. And any of those will be available offline and will be able to cut with your machine. The same thing goes for your projects. So if I click my projects, you'll see a one project out here. And I have many more than that. this. This was the only one I saved for offline use. And I can open this project right in this offline version and cut this project on my Cricut machine. So let's, let's connect back to the internet and I'll show you my projects actually online and how to get those to offline design space. So now that we've connected to the internet once again, I can click My Projects. And now you'll see that I have a ton of projects in Cricut Design Space. For any of these, I can now click the three dots and click Save for Offline. And now these two projects will be available once I remove my internet connection and use Cricut Design Space offline. So now I'm offline once again and you can see those projects that I just saved for offline use. I can now pick those and customize those and cut those even though I'm not I don't have any internet connection. So pretty easy you just need to know the ins and outs of using offline design space. So if you love this video if it gave you some good information please 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 give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, anything we've covered today, drop them in the comment section below. Having trouble with the new design space, you can ask that below as well, and I will definitely try to help you. If you haven't already, you want to head on over, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have Cricut videos all the time, and you don't want to miss any of the fun. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I wish you the best of luck in mastering the new design space. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.